Hey guys, what is up Tech Design Squad? Welcome back with another super special video. And today we are getting started with our official podcast and collaboration series Unframed. And guys, as the first ever episode, I'm talking about everything you need to know when you are starting with YouTube. So guys, without further ado, let's get started. So guys, before things get started, I want to give you a special thank for which you have given me. As you already know, we've hit our 200 subscribers recently and it really means a lot to me and guys, I just want to say that this is just beginning and we have a whole lot more to conquer and I hope you will provide me the love and support as always. So guys, I'll set up a small giveaway on behalf of this milestone and it's a YouTube starter pack template including a banner template, overlay template, end screen template and a social media lower third template. So you can just visit my website to free download the giveaway and the link will be in the description. So guys, let's get into our topic. So when talking about getting started on YouTube, the most frequently asked question is how can I be the successful YouTuber? So, in this episode, I'll be discussing on selecting a genre for your channel, building up the content, building up an audience, growing the audience, and final outcome as the subs and feedbacks. So guys, let's talk about how and why you should choose a right category for your channel. So guys, this is the basic point of starting your channel. Why I am saying that is, if you choose a category that you are not familiar with or that you choose it because of the trend or anything else, trust me that it won't work at all. So there are many categories on the YouTube like gaming, vlogging, music, technology, designing and whole bunch of stuff. Out of them, you have to determine for what category you are most clever with and also in the meantime you have to list out what are the equipments and the resources you have to have based on what you are going to do in your channel. And the main thing that I forgot to say is that this fault is done by many underrated YouTubers and even the uprated ones that they are not sticking to a one category. This is not gonna go well. Like if you are a gamer, you upload the gaming videos and also like some music tutorials into one single channel. It's like um, it's not gonna match. After settling those things up, then you have to think about your channel name. So when you are giving a name to your channel or to your brand or to your audience, as an example like Tech Design Scott, the main thing you have to focus on is your category. A name which is unique, simple and official will go well for a brand and also like somewhat cooler one is great for your channel name and it's totally up to you. So guys, now you are done with making out your channel surrounding. And now, it's the main point of your channel to focus on. The content. When talking about building up the content, guys, this is a whole turning point. Before you are gonna get started with building up your content, you have to gather some stuff that really affecting positively for your channel. These are the tools for your channel. These are the elements of your channel. These are the upgrading points for your channel. So what the flip I'm talking about right now? I'm talking about a good channel banner, an outstanding intro, an attractive outro and the other elements like overlays and lower thirds. So let's talk about why these elements are so important for your channel. When we consider a channel banner, you have to come up and go through with the concept related to your category. Like if you are a designer, you can make it look stunning by adding visual arts or some other assists. Or if you are a gamer, you can make it like hot looking. Or if you are a vlogger, you can make it stunning and outstanding with adding some moments like making it cool and attractive. You know what I'm saying, right? And then when talking about the intro and outro, my opinion is just to make it clean and simple, neither too long nor too short, like up to 5-10 seconds. So 
why an intro and an outro is really important is that guys these are the first and the last thing your viewers see when they watch you so it should be welcoming and it's great if it tells about what you are doing on this channel and the overlays and lower thirds are really helping you to promote your social media and remind them to leave a like or show some social love if they're interested on what you're doing so guys that's why you can download the starter templates from my website down below in the description or if you want me to create those things for less charge you can contact me for your inquiries all right when building up the content you have to make sure about two things one is the original content most of the youtubers steal and copy the others and do what they all have done and try to be succeed on youtube it's just a failure you have to come up with your own concept and you can get ideas and knowledge by watching others but you have to keep your concept and your work original and clean the other thing is try to upload videos that are always working for the audience and that are most helpful for them like no one have ever posted or about a new side of your selected category so many people think that they need a good editing software or some other things but believe me it's not right and it's not right at all if your content is outstanding it's totally fine and that's all you have to come up with your content and also guys if you want to see software based tutorials like Photoshop, Premiere Pro or After Effects, just leave a message in the comment section. Alright, now you are good to go with YouTube. And now you have to focus on your audience. Like when you have zero viewers to watch you, it's really embarrassing, right? In here, I'm not gonna talk about those keyword stuff or description elements or those technical stuff. I'm gonna talk about how to build up your own audience from the YouTube community. So in order to do that, you have to build up a regular audience that like what you are doing on YouTube. You can promote your work on your social media or you can interact with communities or with other YouTubers. And also guys, you have to keep up a regular schedule for your uploads like for how many times a day or a week you are uploading or when you are gonna upload your videos that I'm totally out with my channel. It's not more essential like to upload couple more times a week. The main thing is your upload, even once a week, have the most effective and the helpful stuff included in it. So, with the time goes on, you will be able to catch up with the audience if they are bigger or smaller. Now I'm gonna talk about how you can grow up and keep it up with your audience. So guys, you have to keep this thing on your mind that always try to upload quality content that your viewer gets satisfied and the others who don't watch you gonna be a part of your regular audience. Always keep up a good relationship with the audience and try to help them with your work every time. And tell them if they appreciate your effort, share your work with their friends. And guys believe me, if you have a nice content, the new viewers will definitely gonna love it. And also my advice is just give some free stuff from your channel if you could like giveaways or like I don't much do those things but the other YouTubers select like the best comment sort of things. So your regular audience will spread the message that you are gonna give free stuff. And also guys tell in your every video what is coming up with your channel, what's popping in your channel, what your viewers can expect with your channel and stuff like that. So guys, I guess that's all you wanna know when getting started on YouTube. So guys, after following these AKA strategies, I hope you will be able to get started successfully as a YouTuber. And as the final outcomes, the content, the relationship, and the stuff like giveaways will surely and directly cause for hundreds of subscribers for your channel. The only thing you have to keep on your mind is that you have to fulfill the very need of the subscriber and you have to make your content feel outstanding to catch the mind of the viewer who is not yet a subscriber on your channel to make him subscribe to your channel and to maintain a good pace for the growth of your channel. So guys this is it with this podcast episode. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope this would be very helpful if you are a YouTube starter or even if your channel sucks so bad.
anyway guys if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit the thumbs up and share my content with your friends comment what you really think about this new podcast series and what you want to see more from the upcoming episodes and don't forget to subscribe to enjoy fresh videos like this and to be the part of tech design squad so guys i'll see you with another video very soon so then stay awesome